morning, day 12. We have a 2,000 foot vertical for the first couple miles, but it'll be perfect because it's kind of cold. It's like 31, 32 degrees out here. Everything had frost on it. Yeah, we had the perfect campsite last night, right by the river, hanging out with everyone. It was a blast. Really pretty, beautiful. We're ready to get in the sun and get warmed up. Everything's cold, cold lips, cold fingers, cold toes. My shoes are frozen solid. Yeah. My, so <laughs> my socks are frozen solid. We're gonna get up there, get warm. Step one, put your hand through the pole so you don't drive it in the river. And it goes down the river and somebody has to get it for you. Like yesterday. Don't know when that happened. Yay. We've got more snow on trail. Getting close to 5,000 feet. So update, we're about five in for the day. We just stopped and had a little snack. Met back up with Pusher and Puma. Met back up with Pusher and Puma. Um, the next water's like three miles from here and we've got half a liter left. So our water game's looking pretty good. Still some snow in the mountains. So cool. Last night when we got to camp, I was so sore, stiff. I had like a knot in my calf. Um, try to stretch as much as you can. That definitely helps with recovery and getting back on trail for the next day. Um, I used a little massage ball roller and I was able to work out the kinks and the sore spots that I was having. And today I feel much, much better. Um, yesterday it was to the point where um, I could hardly even walk up a little hill with my calf hurting as bad as it was. But good stretching, good massaging, and make sure you're drinking your electrolytes for recovery. Um, also, you want to work on stretches that help with your hip mobility. Um, that is going to help with knee pain. And we're currently working on this 2,000 foot elevation climb. So I am uh, very thankful for switchbacks. This makes it a thousand times easier than if we were just going vertical. Taking your time also helps on the trail. You don't have to be the first one to camp. Take it slow, take it easy, let people pass you. It's not a race. Um, it'll also help you go a lot faster and a lot longer in the long term. So take care of yourself. It's not worth keeping up with your friends. You'll meet up with them at camp and tell stories, talk about your day and just catch up. Almost there. This day couldn't be more perfect. So pretty out here. I came around the corner and this fool threw a snowball at me. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. It's no way to cool off. Yeah, no kidding. Still snow in the mountain. We're half a mile from the next creek. So we're gonna take a break here. We're trying to break every three miles ish. Yeah. To protect our joints. Yep. Stretch so. as much as we can. Blaze Physio recommended at lunchtime always stretch yep. because whenever you get to camp, you're too tired, you're ready to just get in your sleeping bag, go to sleep, and then most people neglect to stretch by the time it's time to go to bed. Right. If you look very, very closely, you can see Rue. He's like an ant. Yeah. Here's the blue pack, blue shirt. And there's Ethan Martin. There goes Rach and Dan. Lunch Robin at the watery. <laughs> Sounds good. Take 10. Take 10. We're leaving our spot. Had a little lunch. Got some water. Put our knee braces on, did a bunch of stretches. 
Uh, both of our knees are still giving us some trouble, but we're taking a lot better care of ourselves now. We stretch at every stop, stop more frequently. And I think that's helping a lot, especially for me anyway. I took two ibuprofen this morning and that was like four or five hours ago. And my knee doesn't really hurt anymore. So it should be worn off pretty soon. Our next stop is Mike's place, which is like four miles-ish from here. Uh, I've heard different things about it online, so we'll see what it is. If nothing else, I know they have water there, so we're not carrying a ton of water out of this creek and a big trash can to throw our stuff away. So if nothing else, we'll drop off our trash there, which is better than nothing. And then we're gonna camp a little further past that. We were hoping to do like 16 miles. Yeah, shooting for a 15, 16 mile day today. If we get to Mike's place and we're feeling dead, then we'll stop there. Cause there's, it's a good spot to camp too. It's pretty flat. This is the offshoot trail to Mike's place. All are welcome. Even the Mike's place water tanks. There wasn't much more there other than the water tanks, so we didn't stick around too long. Just filled up our water and left. We have a dry camp tonight in four, almost five miles from here. So we got each have two liters, a little over two liters. Chow magic. You get sticks. You get sticks. <laughs> Free walk. The views have been incredible today. We're thinking that over there is San Jacinto, that very, very snowy ridge. Fingers crossed that over the next couple of days that snow starts to melt a little bit. So we finally made it to camp. Uh, we came down almost a thousand feet in about a mile. Yeah, that was hard. Very hard. <laughs> Our knees and ankles are screaming. Yep. Uh, muscles that we didn't know could be sore. <laughs> we did are about sore today. So yeah, we did about like sixteen point seven miles. Today. Yeah. So we definitely pushed a little too hard today. So we're gonna take it slow. You would think we'd learn our lesson by now. <laughs> we'll take it slow tomorrow and the next day. Uh, there's no more big hills, mm -hmm. so it's it's a kind of a steady down into Idlewild area. Yep, and we met back up with all of the people, so we we're gonna set up camp and eat supper. Hang out by the fire. Oh, oh, so nice. oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We all just have to Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we are gonna cowboy camp again. Um, tomorrow we're going to push to about 11 or 12, maybe 13 to get to the next hostel. And that'll put us really close to PVC the day after, which is Paradise Valley Cafe. Really good burgers, really good place to eat. It's going to be cold tonight, but we're kind of out of the wind, we're kind of hiding behind these bushes. So it should be a really, really good camp. Beautiful open sky, so should see plenty of stars. Tomorrow is the eclipse, so that's an exciting day too. But we'll catch you all tomorrow.